U.S. taxpayers should not be forced to subsidize some of the largest and most profitable corporations in America. Walmart made over $15 billion in profit last year alone. And yet, despite these very high corporate profits, Walmart pays wages so low that tens of thousands of their employees are forced to rely on public assistance in order to survive. It's not right that we work for the richest company in the world and we're still stuck at $11 an hour, which is poverty wages. A November 2020 Government Accountability Office report that I requested found that taxpayers are not only subsidizing the poverty wages at Walmart, McDonald's, and Dollar General, but nearly half of all workers make less than $15 an hour. And they are forced to rely on public assistance programs, costing taxpayers $107 billion each year. Is it true that among the 15 agencies you reviewed in the states that you looked at, Walmart was in the top four employers of program beneficiaries in each and every one? Yes, that is true. Well, let us be clear. Walmart is not alone. Is it correct that McDonald's was a top five employer of employees receiving federal benefits in 13 of the 15 agencies? Yes, that's also true. I work for McDonald's, the second largest corporation in America, and still rely on food stamps and Medicaid. My family has been homeless despite two incomes. Try waking up in the morning, getting ready for work and school in your minivan with your family of five. Since COVID-19, it's gotten harder. I can tell you they treat us more like second-class citizens than essential workers. Why are we on the front lines and we're frontline workers putting our lives at risk every day? Why are you not embracing your workers? What does treating workers with respect to your overall success of your company? We're not in to try to figure out how to lower the wage. We're always trying to figure out what we can do for the employee so they'll stay longer with our organization. And they bring a lot of value based on their experience with the company. Now, I don't know. Maybe if you are a billionaire family, you may not understand this. But the simple truth is that no one in America can live with dignity, can raise a family on 11 or $12 an hour. Low-wage workers like me just don't have the funds to pour in our community. And if we had $15 an hour, that's a 365-day-a-year stimulus package. You give low-wage workers money, we're not going to buy beachfront property, invest in stock. We're going to pour it into the economy to help grow it and help grow jobs as well. We need $15 an hour now. We are living in poverty. The federal minimum wage of $7.25 an hour has not been raised by Congress since 2007. Got that? Minimum wage not been raised by Congress since 2007, 14 years ago. And let us be clear, no ifs, buts, and maybes. $7.25 an hour is a starvation wage. That's what it is. U.S. taxpayers should not be forced to subsidize some of the largest and most profitable corporations in America. It is time for the owners of Walmart, McDonald's, Dollar General, and other large corporations to get off welfare and pay their workers a living wage.